Hello and welcome to some of my favorite unboxings, a sun top unboxing with all that beautiful sun top tape on each side. Really looking forward to this one. Uh, this is Let the Right One In by Paul, oh my god, Paul, by John Avita Linquist. I don't know why I'm saying Paul Avita Linquist, because I guess, you know, Paul Suntup is on my mind with his beautiful foam fitted packaging. This is the Artist Gift Edition of Let the Right One In by John Avita, John Avita Lindquist, illustrated by Bud Cook, who is always a legend as well. Very much like Bud Cook's illustrations, especially his, uh, his work on the Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin. Now this, this is a biggin'. Look at that, it is, it is a beast of a book. Oh, look at that, got a nice little tear for me right there. Yeah, for the shrink wrap. So, this is signed by Bud Cook, but I do have the numbered edition coming probably sooner than later, which is also signed by the author, uh, which will go alongside my arc of the novel. I was so gracious enough to have won an arc with a red cover, which I unboxed as one of my very first unboxings on this channel. Um, I don't want to say these unboxings have gotten better because I don't necessarily see the, see these as great videos, but you know, I think they've gotten a lot better from where it was, so I've improved. Still a long way to go, but you know, we're getting there. Anyways, there is a beautiful print of Eli solving the Rubik's Cube or the Speed Cube. Beautiful little cat. I don't remember a cat in the novel. I uh, I did not read the arc because I'm much too paranoid for that. So I actually listened to the audiobook um, instead. There we go. Whoo! Now these Suntup illustrations, if the Suntup illustrations, these Suntup artist editions, formerly the artist gift editions, they're a bit pricey. Not as pricey as the numbered editions. But hot damn, do you get your money's worth? Like, that is, even the texture of the inlaid title there. Sent up editions. Beautiful boards, beautiful cloth. Like, this is the quality of most other publishers' limited editions. Which makes it all the more worth it. And what's astounding to me, there's another Eli, is that these... That these, like this right here, let the right one in, is still available. Like, go buy it. Oh my god. Uh, this does include the novel, as well as the sequel and uh, the two sequel stories, which kind of like a little trilogy of themselves. I did not read the little short stories yet. I was waiting for this one, because I dare not damage the arc. There we go. Beautiful illustrations from Bud Cook throughout. They're doing Morris code through the walls. Uh, so, there we go. Oh my god. Just astounding. There's the speed cube again, down there, two speed cubes. Uh, so this is actually the second uh, Suntup edition to feature Morris code. The first being, of course, Horns by Joe Hill. Bud Cook right there, his signature. Thank you, Bud. Some people I know are getting remarks done with the novel. I cannot swing that, unfortunately. There's Eli in the bathtub. But, wow. Wow, that is a nice addition. It's going to look great next to the Ark, next to the numbered edition, in its beautiful cat slipcase when it arrives. Uh, as I said, copies of this which come with a bookmark in its own slipcase, are still available at suntep.press. How is that even a thing? How is that possible? The last few ARCs, not ARCs, the last few AEs and Artist Editions have just, or AGEs, if you're still referring to the Artist Gift Edition, like this was originally, uh, sold out immediately. Oh my god. Like, Silence of the Lambs sold out in hours. And this one is still available. Same thing with the auctioneer. Why? Go buy a copy. Seriously. 
The auctioneer. I can't wait to get that, my hands on that arc. Not, oh my god, why do I keep saying arc? I got arcs in my brain. I can't wait to get my hands on that artist edition. I still have the numbered edition, which is one of those rare ones where the numbered comes out first, but go buy a copy. Stick around. Get an artist edition of the February titles. Uh, rumor, a lot of people are kind of, you know, thinking maybe it's The Exorcist. People were thinking one of the titles was Interview with the Vampire. Paul shot that one down. But people are thinking, you know, maybe it's The Exorcist and maybe it's The Wolfen. I don't think it's going to be The Exorcist, but you never know. I mean, I already have several copies of The Exorcist, but what the hell? One more sounds great. And I'm not familiar with The Wolfen, so... I'm all over that, if that's what it is. And of course, March is going to be Blood Meridian by Cormac McCarthy. That one's not going to have an artist edition, but you know what? If you try to get in on the numbered editions in February, try to get on the number train, uh, probably through the lottery, because I imagine that's what you're going to have to do, then you will not be disappointed come March. Well, let me tell you, beautiful. Quality of a lettered edition. Anyways, that's on the future. And if you're watching this video in the future, then it's the past. But if you're watching it right now, now is the time to pick up your artist edition of Let the Right One In by John Avita Lindquist. It is beautiful. So check out the description. I'll have a link to suntup.press for this edition. And you should definitely check it out. We'll see you next time.